Hello everyone, welcome back to Build and Repair and Restore. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoy the content. If you do, make sure you give us a like, don't forget to subscribe, and you can also join the channel for exclusive content. Hi guys, welcome back to another video back on the bathroom build. Today I'm on my own, Mr. A is off doing um, some painting somewhere else. And um, yeah, I've been tiling. I started, I don't want to bore you guys too much with a lot of tiling because it's pretty much the same stuff I did yesterday. Um, but I'll just kind of run through a few things that I'm doing. Give you maybe a couple of pointers, explain a couple of things I'm doing um, that might help you to pay in mind when you're doing your own projects like this. So uh, let's uh, have a look. All right, guys, so remember yesterday we were working on this uh, large wall here. Um, what I've done today is I have fitted this tile here. I've also done that tile in the corner. Um, you can see when it comes up to the window. Uh, things to look out for when you're doing stuff like this is taking your level onto walls. This wall here is really crooked. You can see if you look here that my tile actually comes out slightly past like this because this is really crooked so i've sort of used you make just make sure your stuff is level so my line is level and then as it goes up it sort of it sort of meets it there um see if i can get a level on it all right guys so you can see at the top where it's level and then basically it touches the top of the of the reveal and as we get to the bottom it gets wider and you can see it's about I would say it's about six mil out. So when I'm doing the tiles here, the bottom tiles are gonna have to pack out a little bit. Um, but it's more important that I get this line straight. So that's that done. I'm working my round way around. Another thing to pay attention if you're doing the brick pattern is if you're gonna go from one wall and you're gonna jump somewhere else, always remember to continue your pattern. So for instance, we've got a half tile here, and yesterday um I made sure that I allowed for a full tile here and then I did a half tile here. So I've done the full tile here. So sometimes you can sort of forget and then you mess up your pattern. So we've got half tile, full tile, half tile, full tile. Then there will be a half tile there, which I'm going to do after I do this one. I wanted to do this one first. So there'll be a half tile there. Then there'll be a full tile, which will be a strip, thinner strip, and then half tile again back to full tile and we're back to half tile behind the toilet and then we'll be full tile so also when you when you're doing walls always figure out how you want to center or space out your tiles before you start you don't want to end up on one side with like a tiny sliver car or sort of odd, odd looking so for instance this this wall here the window is not central to the wall so you've got to decide whether you're going to tile straight center of the wall or if you're going to use something like a window as a focal point and center around that. So I have gone for the window and centered there. So this is the center of our window here. So you've got to, you know, I've centered it there. So obviously we've got this sort of little cut here and then we'll have the same thing on that way. And then it, it just sort of looks better. So there's that. Then things with the shower again same thing again so how i worked it out uh the best way I, I figured out to work it out was to centralize a tile tile here so this this line here is in the center of that tile and there is the tile that i've cut which is going to go there so it sort of like sits in the middle of the tile it's going to look a lot better and obviously the shower head as well is going to be in the center of a tile which is going to look better as well so there's that uh, moving on, coming around here soon. Um, this is a nice easy wall to do. And uh, I'm going to take it around there. So I'm hoping today to get this wall, this wall, probably finish this bit here and uh, finish this bit here. And maybe, and maybe this bit here. And then tomorrow I will work around the window and do all around the inside of the window. And, uh, and then do around this side here i've actually got one more tile to do there as well i need to cut a little notch around that around that door frame there so yeah doing well i think i'll be finished the tiling by tomorrow um if i if i get tiling finished by tomorrow um then we go out the following day so yeah i'm gonna carry on with the tiling 
All right, guys, it's just a quick update. Uh, today's not been much of a working video day, but more of a working day. So I've been really busy. Um, I've literally just stopped tying, just done a little bit of a clean up in here. It started getting a bit messy. I'll show you how far I got with the tiling. Um, done quite a bit today here on my own. So most of this wall is done. This is just temporarily fitted. It's not, it's not been screwed on, but it's just sort of fitted. Um, these are the buttons. Um, I had to just get the adjustments. I'm gonna probably wind them in slightly so that they're a little bit further in. Just playing around with that. You can see I've cut the hole here for the handheld shower. And this one is for the overhead. So those are all cut, ready to go. And once it's grouted, I can screw them all on. Um, what else have I done? Um, just just test fitting the toilet now. Um, so this pipe is basically now in the way. I need to cut this, put a valve down here, and then it will be on a flexi pipe. Uh, it's going to come out through this hole here. So you need to put a flexi pipe with these sort of toilets <clears throat> so that you can sort of connect it and then sort of slide it back to the wall. Same thing for this. We need something that's sort of movable so you can pull it out and push it in so um yeah but yeah nice toilet covers up everything neatly as well so i'm gonna i've just drained down the water i'm gonna apply some heat there's a solder coupler here i'm gonna i'm gonna take the pipe off from here and then i'm gonna put um a ball valve on that here and cap that off all right guys there we go so there's our brand new valve and i'll shut it off so i can turn the water back on and now we should be able to get the toilet to fit back in place. That's it, that's the toilet in. So obviously once I've plumbed it in, I'll just slide it in. Drop that, and then the system will obviously sit on here and it will sit on the wall here. All right guys, this is the shower head. Uh, I've just sort of loosely screwed it on, onto the thread here, but that's gonna get some tape on it and tighten that up when I'm ready. Um, also, I'm just gonna test fit the handheld uh, con uh, control here. So basically, this is this is what goes in there. Gets screwed in. I think the threads are going to be slightly too long, but I can always cut a little bit off. Um, rather the threads be too long than too short. Um, if I put the um, the thread too far into the wall, you know, so you can see it. I could probably take about five mil off off the end of that. That basically gets screwed on there and then there'll be a hose attached to here which you'll screw on and then there'll be sort of like a, a rail here and then you can take it off and put it back onto the rail that's pretty much the shower a couple other things that's in here we've got a mirror going on there which is going to be basically above the sink so it's like an LED mirror with Bluetooth speakers and all sorts of stuff on it. Uh, I can listen to music while you're having a shower. And uh, there's also a cabinet that's gonna have a light in it. Um, there was one there before, but just, it's the same cable, we're just putting another one back there. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much uh, uh, all that's in here. So once I finish the tiling and I grout everything, I can actually just start connecting this stuff up. This is a floating cabinet, so it'll be off the ground. You remember I moved the pipes that were sticking in the floor, put them in the wall. Um, so yeah, you won't see any pipe work. It'll be nice and clean. Um, and as I said, a mirror here, cabinet there. Um, there's a screen. The screen that's gonna be here is a center, center entry door, because the bathroom is quite small. And you've got obviously a toilet on the left you can have a cabinet here, which comes out about 400. Um, typically you would have sort of a fixed, fixed glass from here going back and then you'd, you'd sort of slide it that way. 
um, but because the cabinet's here, it's going to be too tight to sort of get around in, into this side. So the doors that we're going to be using is um, sort of got two doors and they, they open from the centre, left and right. So you literally walk through the middle of, uh, between the toilet and the sink. That's your pathway into the shower. So I think that should, uh, should, should work well. Um, so yeah, after, after I finish this, uh, drop the ceiling. We're gonna put some spotlights in here as well to light it up nicely. And also I've got an extract fan that's gonna go in the ceiling and extract out through the roof tiles. Just like the bathroom next door, there's a small shower room and the fan is in the loft. It'll be ducted and it'll be right above here somewhere. And they will extract out to the roof because this is a bungalow when we're on the ground floor. So the roof void is right above us. Hey guys, I just wanted to explain a couple of things and just show you the progress. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Tomorrow I'll be back here and I'm going to try and see if we can do a bit more filming. Um, and uh, yeah, until then guys, whatever you're doing this weekend, be safe, enjoy yourselves and I'll see you soon. Thank you.